Welcome back to the morning blend. During this shutdown, a lot of people decided it was a good time to adopt a dog. Now that summer is here and we're starting to return to new normal, has dog training changed? Well, our next guest would probably say yes and no. Leanne Boucher joins us now from Hawes with a variety of ways to seek help with training and behavior modification, depending on your goals and needs. And she says there's literally something for everyone or for every pup there is. Hey, Leanne. <laughs> hey, Leanne. Hi, you guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I miss well. being in the studio, but this is this is second best and it's perfect. Absolutely. So you've got two dogs there that are at um, your day training, right? And and this is a, an option that you have for people, which I know we can talk about in a little bit, but I'm wondering Correct. what most people are, are kind of coming to you for and saying they need help with now that summer's sort of ramping up. Yeah, we've definitely seen an uptick in clients wanting assistance with um, what we tend to call dog-dog reactivity. So now that everybody is out and about and walking their dogs, um, dogs that struggle seeing other dogs in public or in their neighborhoods are barking, lunging on leash because everybody's outside more now that the weather's warmed up. Um, and we've also seen an uptick in dogs that are, as we expected, struggling a little bit to stay at home now that owners are going back to work. Um, so we are helping clients with that as well. Are you having trouble um, with these issues? Um, do you feel like a lot has been affected by the pandemic? Yes and no. Um, we've been able to support a number of clients, even when we were mostly working from home, um, because clients have been able to flex right alongside us and have taken to the virtual options that we had for consultations. But now that we have resumed in-person sessions, the clients that prefer that hands-on are now able to do so. So there's been something, like you said, for everybody. Good boy. Well, kind of break down some of those that you have, especially some of the virtual ones um, and yes. for training and for behavior modification of what you're currently having available. Sure. So we realize that even though the Safer at Home order has been lifted, people are still in different camps with their comfort level. So if a client still does not want to go into a public setting, like coming to our building, we can either meet in a more public outside setup, um, or we can continue to support them virtually via FaceTime, Facebook video messenger, Skype, Google Hangout, or Zoom. Um, so that is still an option. We're not doing away with virtual consults just because we're back physically in the building. And for dogs who might not be able to take an in-person class, even though those have resumed as well, we now have our virtual curriculum as an option so that people can work through the training at home and not lose any momentum because their dog physically can't be successful in a classroom. We're looking at this interesting video of a dog with a bottle <laughs> on a string. What, what, yes. is the, what do you working on here. <laughs> That's my Chesapeake. That's Mergie. That is one of the videos in our enrichment curriculum. So that is six weeks of virtual curriculum and separate from the basic manners that emphasizes training and obedience, like sit down, wait, stay, etc. The enrichment curriculum is six weeks of different options for you to engage your dog um, emotionally, mentally in different activities that are going to, to kind of uh, well round their behavioral um, health and just allow them to practice and engage with meal enrichment, which is what that specifically was, or sensory enrichment, social enrichment, etc. You know, before we before we talk about your day training, because I want to mm -hmm. uh, know about that, I just have an etiquette question. Is yeah. it okay to pet other people's pets yet, or is that still kind of a no-no with COVID? I think it's probably a no-no because when you think about it, that puts you close together, right? Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Unless you're extending your leash six feet, but even then you kind of lose control of your dog. Um, it's, a, it's a good question. I think it's very personal. It's a very personal decision, Tiffany. What it's so hard, you know? You see the puppies yeah. and you just want to pet them. And I, it's like, I I'm know. sorry I can't touch you. But okay, yeah. talk about the day training because you've got two two students there with you. I do. These I tell their moms they're going to be on TV. This is Maverick and this is Ruckus. <laughs> These are client dogs that are here with me all day. They come on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and this is the beginning of their third week. So day training clients, Maverick is just starting to whine a little bit over here. Um, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, um, these guys are here for kind of basic obedience. Oops, sorry, I just lost an AirPod. Don't know which one I lost. Um, they, they're here for basic obedience. They're here for crate training, which we're working on right now and developing coping mechanisms of being crated and when I leave the space. Not jumping on people, 
loose leash walking, recalls. Um, it's not really a program where we do behavior modification, so we can't really work on fear issues or reactivity issues. But you know, your average pet dog where um, the client wants us to do the training for them, it's, it's like camp. They come for the whole day, they get plenty of physical exercise, if the dogs are good together, I can even allow them off leash playing together. They can work at the same time. Um, and then throughout the day, I do pockets of training with them. And then the owners get videos. And at the end of the program, we do transfer lessons so that the owners can learn what cues I've installed with their dogs. I love looking at this video. Yeah. I have to admit, though, it having looks... a puppy, you make it look so easy here. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. And that's that's kind of what day training is all about. It's it's let the professionals do the training for you, and then we will help you once the behaviors are finished, we'll help you um, maintain those behaviors at home and show you exactly what to do. See, I think that's wonderful, well, do... Leanne, because I think a well-behaved pet is a happy owner. Happy pet, happy owner, Definitely. which I think is fantastic. Thank you so much Definitely. for joining you're, us this morning. You're welcome. Good boy, Maverick. Thanks, thank Leanne. you so much, you guys. Bye. Yeah, Thanks thank to the you. celebrity dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah. Of course. Now, to find the most up-to-date information on available registration forms for classes, consults, and the day training we talked about, you can check out Haw's website. It's hawspets.org or call their behavior hotline to discuss which option is best for you and your dog. The number is 262-542-8851, extension 204.